Hey friends, welcome back to Homestead on a Prayer. In case you're new here, my name's Jennifer. We're here in my kitchen today and I'm going to share with you my Azure haul for the month of October. Now, I do wanna say before we jump into the haul, I am missing something from this haul, which is a three pack of the late July nacho cheese tortilla chips. We actually had a little mix up at my pickup and the chips that, or the box of chips that I was supposed to get actually got mixed in with the driver's next pickup for that day. So somebody from that next pickup has my chips and they've called me and I'm gonna go pick them up a little bit later. But for right now, just imagine them being here because I don't have them here to share with you guys today. If you've seen my previous Azure hauls, you know that those are something that I've bought regularly. They're really delicious. And so I am looking forward to getting to snack on some of those when I go pick them up. So we're just going to dive into the haul, everything that I have here. We're just going to, I'll just share with you what I got and we'll talk a little bit about how we're planning to use each of these items. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is this box of frozen cranberries here. So as you can see, I've already taken the cranberries out of this box and stuck them in my freezer. That way I don't have to worry about them defrosting or anything like that. Now, I do like to buy these cranberries occasionally. We do like to use them in a lot of fall and winter baking. I have cranberry orange scones that I really like to make and frozen cranberries are great in that. The main reason that I got this box of cranberries this time though is because I am going to be playing around with making a couple different types of cranberry sauce. You know, it's getting close to the end of October. Thanksgiving is coming up really soon. And I want to have a couple types of homemade cranberry sauce at my Thanksgiving gathering. So we're gonna go ahead and make and can just the basic traditional cranberry sauce. I like the jellied version, so that's what we're making. It's basically just cranberry sugar and water. I'm also going to play around with infusing some orange into my cranberry sauce, so I may make a video of that for you guys. Honestly, it's super easy though. So I think I'm going to make both kinds of cranberry sauce and we'll see which one is more popular. Next, I did get a little bit of Rumiano's cheese. Well, I say a little bit. This is a five pound block of cheese here. This is the Sharp White Cheddar, which is probably my favorite cheese that they offer. We have been really happy with all the varieties of the Rumiano's cheese that we've gotten before. This is organic pasture-raised cheese. We really enjoy it. It's got a really great flavor. It's very high quality. So I usually buy the five pound blocks and then grate it all up. Sometimes I'll leave a little bit of it in a chunk in my fridge just to slice or use however. But we usually end up grating most of it and freezing most of it until we actually get to use it. So this is a good high quality cheese. I was running low on cheddar, so I just wanted to restock that. And in the same vein, you can see this bag is empty, but I did also purchase some pre-sliced cheese. I just wanted to have a little bit of convenience cheese. As you can see, it was very convenient. We've already eaten this whole package here. We actually had paninis for dinner last night, so we went through the sliced cheese pretty quickly with that. But this is basically the same product. It's organic sharp cheddar cheese. Only difference is that it's pre-sliced. Of course, you do pay a little bit more for that convenience. So I think what I actually need to do, it's kind of ridiculous that I don't actually already have a cheese slicer, but I plan to get a cheese slicer and then when I get this giant block of cheese, I can freeze some of it in slices as opposed to shredding it all up. So that is my long-term plan for the cheese that we buy. Back here, you can see I got a couple produce items. I got these organic yellow onions. So I do buy these onions regularly from Azure. These are yellow organic onions. I got the 10 pound bag. I've been really happy with them. I buy them regularly. It's, they've just been really good. They're nice, big, high quality onions. They last in storage for me for probably a couple months. So I don't buy a bag of those big onions every month, probably every two or three months I'll buy that bag. And what happens often is because the onions are so big, a lot of times I don't use a full one in a meal that I'm cooking. So I'll just go ahead and if I'm not planning to use the rest of it within the next day or two, I'll just chop up the entire onion and then freeze part of it. It's great to have chopped onions in your freezer. It's a great convenience item, especially when you only want a few chopped onions and you don't want to go through the hassle of chopping an entire onion, especially if I'm making a small lunch just for myself or something like that. So that's what I do with those. The other produce item that I purchased this month is this bag of organic russet potatoes. I do have specific plans for these potatoes. I am planning to try making homemade gnocchi for the first time. I have seen so many people making homemade gnocchi and it just, it looks so good. I do really like gnocchi, but I think that homemade would just really take it to the next level and then I can completely control the ingredients that are in it. So that is my plan for those potatoes. 
Right now, because I haven't done it before, I'm planning to just make a small batch, which is why I only got five pounds of potatoes. Probably make maybe two batches of it, one to eat that night, and we'll freeze one of them. Once I get the hang of it a little more, I'm probably going to get a larger order of potatoes, make a big batch of it, and then freeze most of it. I think that it's one of those food items that takes a little bit, a little bit of doing, and it's just kind of a project. So I think it would make a lot more sense to make a big batch at once and freeze it rather than making it in small batches regularly. So let's move on to the next item. Next thing that I want to show you guys that I got are these organic mini chocolate chips. I have purchased these from Azure before. They're really good, they're delicious. These are bittersweet chocolate chips, which is what I prefer. It's a little bit, as you can guess from the name, a little bit less sweet, it's more of a dark chocolate, probably even darker than what most people would consider dark chocolate. I really like them because, you know, they're usually going in baked goods, which are so sweet already. I don't think you really need much additional sweetness from the chocolate chips. So I really do enjoy those. We were running pretty low on the batch that we had, so I got another five pound package of those. Next, I got this. This is Napa Valley Naturals Balsamic Vinegar. Now, I had already been buying the Azure brand balsamic vinegar, but I have been hearing some great things about this balsamic vinegar here. I've been hearing people say that it's really thick, really syrupy, really sweet, and almost like a balsamic glaze in a balsamic vinegar form. So I'm really excited to try this. And you know what? I think I'm actually, let's pour out a little bit of this now so I can test it out and show you guys exactly how thick it so is. I'm going to try to pour out just a little bit of this, but I'm going to show you guys how, oh, that does look nice and thick. So you can see exactly how thick this is. You can see it's running more like a syrup and not like a watery vinegar. So I'm going to try a little taste of this and see how it is. That's really good. It's really sweet. It's got kind of a complex flavor. I think this would be a great, this would be great for anything that you want to use a balsamic glaze for. So I'm really excited to try this out and I'm sure we'll come up with lots of delicious ways to use this. So the next thing that I got, and I got this for the very first time, is the Azure Clean Dish Soap. So I really like the idea of using more non-toxic products to, for cleaning, especially when it comes to cleaning something that we're going to be eating off of, like our dishes. So as I said, I haven't tried this before, but I, it had good reviews, so I'm looking forward to trying it, and hopefully it'll be really good. So next I got some more of this pasta. This is the same brand that we have been buying. They just updated the packaging. So this is the first time I've seen it in these green boxes here. I really, I mean, this is dry pasta, so it's pretty self-explanatory. We're just going to use it when, when we want pasta, something nice and convenient and easy. So I really like these twisty shaped pastas. I think that they hold on to the sauce really well, but it's really hard to find that type of shape in organic pasta in my area locally. So I have been ordering it through Azure and we've been really happy with it. We were running a little bit low, so it was just time to restock. So I got this pack here of 12 boxes of pasta. It's a little bit cheaper per box when you buy in bulk like that. That's one thing that Azure offers is that you can buy a lot of the products in a big variety of sizes. So by getting the 12 pack, I was able to save some money on this pasta. So I'm really excited about that. The last item that I want to share with you guys is this Redmond Real Salt here. So just move this pasta out of the way. As you can see, I have a 25 pound bag of this Redmond Real Salt here. Now, if you watched my Azure haul last month, the September Azure haul, you saw that I got, by accident, I got a 25 pound bag of Epsom salt. I did not order it, they just sent that to me, but it was labeled as Redmond Real Salt. Because I had ordered the Redmond Real Salt, I assumed that it was some sort of reused packaging, because Azure does reuse packaging sometimes. Um, well, it was surprising to me that they would reuse this type of packaging. I thought it may have been something like that. And so I thought that it was Redmond Real Salt until I actually cut into it and realized that it was actually, in fact, Epsom salt. So that Epsom salt, we do use Epsom salt for body care, but I think it would take us quite a long time to go through 25 pounds of it. So probably a lot of that is actually going to get used in my garden. I did a couple months ago, I ordered this smaller package because I wanted to try it out. I didn't want to commit to buying 25 pounds of salt when I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. So I got this smaller package. We did really like it. So I went ahead and got the big 25 pound bag. This is going to go in a food grade bucket with a gamma lid. This is going to be 
for storage and I assume that 25 pounds of salt should last us for quite a while. So I'm excited to be stocked up on this salt. So that's my Azure haul for the month of October. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me in my kitchen and just see all of the products that I got from Azure this month. If you're new to Azure, if you haven't ordered from them before, I am going to go ahead and leave my referral link in the video description. That's a great way to support my channel at no cost to you. If you do sign up through Azure and purchase something through that link, it will give my channel um, a nice thank you referral bonus. So if you do choose to do that, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And again, thank you for hanging out with me. I really look forward to using all of these new products. I hope that you will come back and hang out with me again soon. I hope you're having a great day and I can't wait to see you next time.